the new year is almost here and you want to make sure you have your 2026 planners ready to go on Amazon. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I quickly created this 2026 planner and uploaded it to Amazon KDP to sell for passive income. Let's watch. So in order to save hours of time, I highly recommend you use a templated system for KDP. So I'm using Canva templates from my Amazon KDP starter kit. The link is in the description below if you want to learn more. So these are some of the internal page templates that you can use. You can easily customize these and make full planners and trackers using these different types of pages. And there's also covers for each of those sizes that you could use. So I did provide 2026 monthly page templates in four sizes also. So we're going to be using yearly at a glance as well as each of the months for 2026. I'm also going to weave in some of these internal page templates so that way we can create a full book. So I'm going to choose the six by nine size because this is kind of a perfect size. You could easily carry it around without it being too large. If you want to create your own, you would just create a 6.125 by 9.25 design. So I'm actually going to create a new design. So this way I don't mess up my template pages. So I'm going to create that and then we're going to import those pages. And let me show you how to do that really quickly. So under the projects tab right here, these are some of the templates that were recently open. So if you recently open your designs, you could easily just grab it right here or you could do a search up here. So I'm actually going to select the 2026 monthly pages. And what you could do is you could select a page and add it and then click add page and select each one of them. To speed things up a little, what you can also do is click apply all 61 pages. So this is going to import all 61 templates into this new design. So if I select grid view, I could see all those pages. And we're going to just focus on the six by nine monthly pages right here. So to delete all these, we're just going to select this one, hold shift on your keyboard, and we're going to select this, delete. And then this is the next size, hold shift and delete. So now we have the two yearly at a glance pages as well as all monthly pages right here. So this just saves you tons of time versus having to actually manually go in and create this entire planner from scratch. So now that we have all of our planner pages, I'm going to go ahead and include additional pages for each month. So we're just going to select pages for January and then we'll just duplicate that for the remaining months. So I'm going to click add page right here. And then I'm going to open my internal page Canva file. So these are the different types of pages that come with a kit. So I'm actually going to use the monthly at a glance page and I'm going to paste that right after the actual month. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag over it, copy it. So this is another way you can easily copy pages over and then I'm going to paste it right after the month. So let's go back to the templates and I'm going to copy a gratitude journal for the month also. I'm also going to add a finances page and just add the month. So each month will have its own finance page. And then last but not least, I think I'm going to add like a basic notes page for each month. So let's place that in there. So now January has a set of pages and I'm just going to duplicate the notes page four times. So it has five total. So each month now has an at a glance, a gratitude journal, a finance page, as well as five pages of notes. So what we want to do is we want to select each of these pages. So just select the first one, hold shift and select the last one. And then we're going to duplicate this and move it down to the next month. So I'm going to continue duplicating these. So each month has a set of pages. All right. So now that all 12 months have the same set of pages, I'm going to add a page in the very back and I want to copy over the contact template. So this could be like an address book in the back of the planner. And I'm going to select grid view and just duplicate this until we hit 119. So the very last page we're going to add will be at the front. So I want to add one of these little introductory pages. So someone could add their name on it, any other information. So now that we have all 120 templates ready to go, I'm actually going to go through each section and just update the month. So each template says January finances or January at a glance. I'm just going to update it based off of that particular month. So now comes the fun part. I'm actually going to update the fonts. So all you have to do is just update one font, then click change all and it will update all the fonts in the entire book. You could go in and customize it even more. 
You could center the text. You can update the fonts and the headlines. You could even add different shades of gray in the background for calendar elements. You definitely want to make sure each of the books that you upload to Amazon are unique. So now we have our internal pages done. Let's start working on the cover. So I'm going to select the six by nine cover. So there's definitely various designs you could choose from and customize. I'm going to select this one that says 2026 planner. And for the background, I'm actually going to use Canva AI to create something unique. So dark academia is definitely something that is in trend. And I want to create this kind of vintagey flower background that's dark. Feel free to pause if you want to use the same prompt and make sure to select three, four for your dimensions. So it generated these beautiful saturated vintage flower backgrounds. You could click reuse prompt if you want to generate something again. So after generating a few times, I found one that I really like. So I'm going to select this one and open an editor. And then I'm going to right click copy and paste it into my template right here. So I'm just going to resize this placeholder so it fits the cover and then duplicate the design and flip it on the back. So now it's kind of reversed. Next thing we're going to do is just update the fonts to match the font from the actual planner. And then I'm going to add a rectangle for the binding. So this will be kind of like the binder at the edge. Next, I'm going to actually borrow one of the frames from another template down here and add it to my design. So this way I could center the year. So now that I have my cover done, I'm going to go and save this. So you're going to select PDF print from the drop down menu and make sure you select CMYK and you want to select current page. So make sure it's the current page that you're on. And we're also going to download the interior pages. So it'll also be CMYK. So now that we have both designs done, let's go to kdp.amazon.com and then click create new title or series. So you want to make sure you have a KDP account ready to go and then click paperback. So now I'm going to fill out the listing and upload my planner files. You want to make sure everything looks good before you approve your design. Amazon will notify you within 72 hours if the design has been approved and if it's on the website. If you're interested in learning how to exactly upload these types of low content files to Amazon KDP and how to create these types of templates, make sure you click on the link in my description. My KDP Quick Start Kit walks you through everything. If you like these types of videos, make sure you comment below and don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting more soon.